This drive isn't too bad right now. The road is anything but straight, but just a bit bumpy with only a few bad potholes. A couple of sedans were up there when we arrive. Parking is roadside only, with a limited amount of room to turn around. The fall foliage is starting to fade, but it is wildflower season again. Yes, you heard that right, flowers. Just maybe not the kind you were thinking of. The ones I'm talking about are mushrooms, the reproductive part of mycelium, which we have to thank for much of the decomposition of organic matter. Without them, most forest floors would be so choked with dead vegetation and trees that they would eventually become uninhabitable. Just like plant flowers, mushrooms transform spectacularly and are full of surprises and special abilities. You can find more details about a couple of the ones here and trail and fill below. We actually found this mushroom by our driveway when we got home, and it's supposed to be quite tasty before it hits the drippy state. But it has a compound that will make you intolerant of alcohol for 72 hours. This spiky ball opens into these Mario style mushrooms. This side climbs a little bit, but it's a pretty chill ridge side walk until the Sawyer Mountain split. We opted to go up first and take advantage of the weather while it held. At the split, it goes nearly straight up and then mellows out into a steady switchback climb with plenty of things to look at if you need a break, like Glacier Dip Top and Mount Daniel. It is a fairly easy summit for the area considering the kind of views you get. You're right on the edge of the alpine wilderness and not far from Thunder Mountain Lakes, but this area had a very different feel to me. As you approach the top, the trail wraps around the back side of the mountain and feels more like a goat path, squeezing through the stubby trees. The top is covered with these trees, but has enough rocks and clear areas to get views in every direction, just not all at once. You can get views of Barring Grotto and Mountain Loop peaks like Del Campo. After summiting, we continue down the ridge trail to Fisher Lake. The trail is pretty easy going until you get close to the lake, where it climbs up to the basin. The climb felt like three giant flights of stairs with landings between each. The piece of liquid on these fungi are excess water that it pushes to the surface to protect itself through rotation, and it can be reabsorbed if it gets too dry. Fisher Lake was stunning, and we had it all to ourselves. Thank you for joining us on this adventure. There are hiking resources below and information on free ways to help support this channel. The easiest is liking and subscribing. Thank you. Happy exploring.